Cette um, conférence va maintenant être enregistrée. My name is Thomas Mouret. I work for um, uh, an association, a uh, network of cities and regions called Polis, and uh, together with my colleague uh, Polash, who is also in this call, um, we are part of the, uh, of the European Secretariat of the European Mobility Week. And today, um, the aim of this uh, of this webinar is to present uh, mobility actions. So, what is a mobility action? And we'll also give you some advice on how to draft a good mobility action. And then, after that, we will have um, a five presentation of um, of good mobility actions coming from uh, different parts of Europe, from Portugal to Bulgaria to Netherlands to uh, Spain and Austria. And after uh, these presentations of the of these five mobility actions, we'll have uh, some time for questions and answers, uh, during which you will be able to to ask uh, uh, questions about uh, the mobility actions, but also about the the five uh, mobility actions that you will just uh, have uh, heard about. And finally, uh, we'll conclude the, um, the, presenta the presentation and the webinar with an introduction to the social media competition. Uh, we'll tell you more about it uh, in a few minutes. So first of all, uh, what is a mobility action? So a mobility action is uh, simply an activity or an action uh, that is organized in order to promote sustainable urban mobility. So it can be uh, very different things uh, like um, uh, action and activities to encourage walking and cycling, to encourage uh, people to take uh, public transport or, or to, to change their behavior to, um, to share their car rides or to go for carpooling. And um, the mobility actions are particularly looking at, um, at actions and activities that are influencing the um, the uh, behavior change. So in this case, we are uh, rather looking at, uh, at promotional activities uh, rather than uh, technical activities as such. So this is the, the concept of a mobility action. And uh, the idea of a mobility action is that it can be submitted by uh, any type of organization. So we are uh, receiving mobility actions from all different types of uh, organizations. It can be simply groups of people, so individuals coming together with a, an ID to influence um, uh, the behavior of their um, neighbors and uh, the people living in their cities, but it can also be NGOs, of course, social partners, uh, schools and universities, local, uh, regional, national authorities that have uh, um, uh, measures to implement, uh, public institutions, and also companies. We have a lot of, um, of uh, mobility actions actually submitted by private companies. So basically, anybody in this call um, fall under one or even several of these uh, categories. So I think that all of you um, would be eligible to um, to submit a mobility action, um, and the mobility action is uh, is uh, can be organized at any time of the year. It can be, of course, something that you you would like to organize during the European Mobility Week, which is happening every year between the 16th and the 22nd of September. But it can also be at any other time of the year. So. Uh, uh, basically all around the year and it can be something that lasts only a specific day or, or even a few hours but it can also be an activity or an action that is uh, that lasts for for several weeks or even several months so um given the like uh, regarding the the time frame it's really something that is uh, very flexible and I just want to make one uh, important note on this is that uh, local administrations um, are encouraged to, uh, to, to register the action under the, the European Mobility Week. So the blue category on the, on the screen, um, if they organize uh, activities or actions that are taking place during the European Mobility Week. However, if they organize uh, these same activities or actions um, at any other time of the year, then they are uh, encouraged to, to also register them. But in this case, that will be as a mobility action. So in the, in the yellow category, so the second category. Um, and then the question is, uh, why, 
why you know what what is actually a, a mobility action, how you can register it. Actually, it's it's very simple, and my colleague uh, Bolash will also uh, tell you more about it in a few a few minutes. But what you need to do is to first go on the European Mobility Week website. So you just have to to type uh, www.mobilityweek.eu, and uh, on the home page, the first thing you will see is uh, is the actually the screenshot that you can also see on my on my slide, and uh, the um, the yellow category is the um, is the mobility action category. So just here, normally, uh, if you click um, on register your mobility action here uh, in the red frame, you first uh, land on this page where you um, can, uh, first of all, if you haven't um, registered a, a submitted a mobility action yet you can create your own uh, account or if you have already uh, created your mobility a uh, first mobility action you can simply reuse the, your first account and then you go to the second page the one behind where uh, we will ask you to to uh, to enter a number of information but some that is something uh, really straightforward so we just ask you to enter the name of your of your mobility action a short description uh, you also have a box to give uh, more information so a longer description and then only a few more information about the the target groups and uh, and um, things like this but everything is very well explained so um Every time you need to 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 enter information, there is a specific uh, symbol that uh, indicates it's a, it's a mandatory field. And what is important is that you have to submit your application in English. So all mobility action must be submitted in English. However, there is also um, a second box to to allow you to enter more information in your local language because we know that it's important in some cases uh, when you would like to, for instance, um, um, encourage people to come to an event to have also information in your own local language. So you can basically uh, enter your your information both in English and in your, your own language. Um, and then you will ask me uh, why, uh, why would I would I do that? What is the, the interest for me? So uh, first of all, if you register your, your mobility action, you become part of a larger campaign, the European Mobility Week. So this is already a great, uh, a great achievement, I would say. But more importantly, you get more visibility for your mobility action because your mobility action will be um, uh, then visible on the website of the European Mobility Week. Uh, and in addition, if uh, the European Secretariat uh, identify your mobility action as a particularly uh, good mobility action, it can also be um, selected to, 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 to appear in the section action in the spotlight. And even if it's a really, really good uh, uh, mobility action, it can also be uh, part of our annual uh, best practice guide uh, that uh, we publish uh, every year um, in uh, in winter. So th there is a lot of um, of uh, opportunity for you, and of course, um, also as soon as your mobility action is uh, is published on the website, you can also use the the stamp that you can see on this slide, uh, mobility action stamp that you can then use on your own website um, to to show that your action has been has been uh, approved as a mobility action so uh, this is uh, all that we that we offer uh, in terms of visibility for the mobility actions and especially for the the best of them and now i will uh, i will uh, give my give, um, the floor to my colleague uh, bolash who will, uh, who will give you some advice on how to draft uh, good uh, mobility action. So, Balaj, the floor is yours. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Balaj Nemeth. Uh, could I ask all of you to please mute yourself until we are talking, because it's, sometimes it's really difficult to, to hear because of the background noises. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, so I'm going to share my screen and show you just uh, 
just a general page where you can submit a mobility action. Uh, I hope that you can already see it. So I had the pleasure to go through all the mobility actions what you have submitted uh, during this year. So I have looked into more than a thousand uh, mobility actions uh, and it uh, I was really happy to read uh, the most interesting ones who actually are going to present during this webinar. Uh, but I would like to add some information how to uh, submit the best mobility action. Uh, what those five, or actually I, I found 15 exceptional ones among this uh, more than a thousand, which could show something unique, something uh, more distinguished than the others. Uh, what I always uh, check, and I consider it as a successful mobility action, where the title it's uh, unique and uh, creative. So. I, that's the first thing you read when you open a mobility action was the title and you have to create interest with the title uh, and also it's really it's really good that if you give the title uh, a locality so you also give uh, where that action was submitted that was the city that you try to highlight in the mobility action because there, there are a lot of mobility actions which are saved like car free day and there are hundreds of coffee days all over Europe, so it's nice to give them something uh, uh, unique that you say that coffee day in uh, in the south of Spain, coffee day in uh, in uh, in uh, Prague, or or some uh, give you give give it a locality it, it helps also us to identify and localize where the mobility action coming from and then short description we all always need an english english description of the mobility action because that's how we can understand uh, what you have been doing during the mobility week uh, it it can be precise uh, only highlighting the the meaning of the mobility action or the or the biggest activities you have been doing the short description in your original language it's uh, not necessary to save but if you feel that people would be interested in your own own country as well to read your actions then you can uh, you is you are always welcome to to give the information in your mother tongue as well the detailed description in english it's a uh, it's a uh, is the biggest part of the of the application of the mobility action. You can list all the actions and all the activities you have been doing during the mobility week, uh, the more the merrier. So please, uh, all the activities you find it relevant or important, interesting, you have been doing in kindergartens or on, on, on the streets or anything you can save or write here and we appreciate to have uh, as much as you can as much as information you can give to us uh, and after that it's uh, again the detailed description in your original language if you feel like you want to uh, save it in your mother tongue uh, be welcome it's also really important to to give a precise location of to, of your mobility action because uh, sometimes uh, I see mobility actions that they don't localize it and it's uh, the middle of the ocean or somewhere where it cannot be. Uh, so please always uh, write the, the, uh, the geolocation of your mobility action. You can easily check that uh, with the help of Google Maps and also you can uh, do it with your hands. So you can just for example, if something is from Paris, you can easily find that, okay, the mobility action is from, from here. Uh, the start date of the mobility action and the end date of the mobility action, this is also very important to give us the, the correct dates because then uh, we can see that uh, which year and which part of the year the mobility action is coming from, whether it has happened this year, during this year mobility week, or it was already during the last year's mobility action, uh, mobility week. Uh, and then the contact details, it's also really important that you can, we can uh, look into your social media networks and we can contact you if we decide that we choose your mobility actions to be highlighted in the practical guide on the web page or even in the uh, social media competition. So please share all the social media platforms and the website of your company or your organization or the local authority you are representing. Uh, 
in the section of further information the the target groups is the the people the community that you are trying to reach with your mobility action it can be the the general society it can be a specific community of uh, of a district of the city it they can be the children the elderly or the working groups uh, please always state that which uh, part of the society you are trying to reach with the mobility actions uh, ob objectives uh, the objective is uh, always uh, giving the meaning to the mobility action that what actually you are trying to reach with the mobility action what you are trying to change with the mobility action in terms of people perceptions or uh, mobility habits and behaviors expected outcomes that you what you are waiting from the mobility action that is happening after or what is bring bring through the mobility action and gives to the society or the or the city uh, what do you what do you think that people are going to change or going to change their travel behaviors or travel practices after that actually you organize this event or mobility action partner organization you can always save uh, those organizations or companies that that you helped you to to organize the european mobility week and to uh, to carry out the mobility action that you are uh, talking about in the application and after all the section is uh, going to be filled we always appreciate those mobility actions and most of the times we choose those mobility actions to be highlighted where all the sections are filled out uh, and at the end, uh, please just add mobility action and it's, uh, it's arriving to our system and uh, we can uh, evaluate them uh, afterwards. I think uh, that's what I wanted to say uh, at this section, how to create the best mobility actions. And I will give back the floor to Thomas. Thank you, Bolaj. Thank you very much. So uh, if you have any, any question, please uh, note it down and uh, we will be able to, uh, to give you the floor uh, later on and you will be able to, uh, to, to ask your question to, to Bolaj, uh, who will be able to, to answer. Um, now I think we are going to, to the exciting part of this, uh, of this webinar. Um, because we have, as uh, Bolash said, we have reviewed, uh, Bolash has reviewed all the mobility action that came to our system, more than a thousand, uh, and we selected five of them that were particularly good. Uh, of course, there were some others that, that would uh, also have been uh, uh, good for this webinar, but we found that these ones were actually the, the very best. So um, they will uh, have the opportunity the opportunity now to, to present in five minutes what they, they have uh, achieved in their own city. So um, so I will start now from uh, from our first speaker, uh, Miloslava. Uh, she is uh, working at the Regional Inspectorate of Environment and Water uh, in Plovdiv in uh, Bulgaria. So I will now give you the, the floor, uh, Miloslava, and, uh, and you have five minutes uh, to present your action. The floor is yours. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. Hello from Bulgaria. Uh, my name is Miloslava Mikhailova, and I work for the Regional Inspectorate of Environment and Water. Uh, this is a structure uh, under the head of the Ministry of Environment and Water in Bulgaria. It ensures the implementation of the state environmental protection policy at regional level. The main center is Plovdiv, a beautiful ancient city, the second biggest in Bulgaria, with about 350,000 inhabitants. This is an agglomeration with dynamic growth. You can imagine that uh, the intense traffic is also a growing problem for our city. From the other hand, walking and the slow living lifestyle have for traditions for years. All our fellow citizens are proud that we have the longest pedestrian street in Europe, 1,750 meters, and a lot of other streets that are banned for cars. The mobility action that I represent is a literary competition on the team Walk to the End of the City. People have been invited to share a personal story 
imaginary situation or thoughts inspired by the theme of the European Mobility Week and more specifically about walking. They have the possibility to create an essay, story, poem or other literature genre. The requirements for their pieces of art were to be related to the theme of the European Mobility Week, to be inspiring and creative, to be well-structured and motivated, and to be written uh, grammatically correct. The target group were people from all ages. Our objective was to promote the environmental, health, social and emotional benefits of walking and the opportunities we could gain by getting out of our cars. We aimed several outcomes. First, to raise the environmental awareness among society. Another outcome is to, the cleaner urban environment with better air quality and less noise. And finally, people to be convinced that walking is really cool. People will be more spiritually satisfied and happier having this kind of peaceful, balanced and sustainable lifestyle. The participants were people with interest in the field of literature and environment. We received wonderful works. We ranked a story and two poems in the first three places. The three winners and the youngest participant received thematic prizes and uh, all other participants received certificates. The story of Milena Krumova was ranked in the first place. She wrote about the beginning of a love story between two young people and in a uh, very exciting way. The main characters are women and men, students in architecture and medicine. Accidentally, they have to walk together to their homes in the suburban neighborhood. Along the way, they share their aspirations for a harmonious future. The future architect dreams to make cities cleaner, greener and more beautiful, and the future doctor to make people healthier and happier by playing sports daily and having a balanced and peaceful life. The full story, as well as other award-winning works, are published in our organization website. Our mobility action was promoted via regional and national media, including social media. Uh, we are so excited by the artworks that we received that uh, now we plan to make the competition traditional and to run it annually for the next European Mobility Weeks. We could select the best poems, stories and essays and publish a book dedicated to the idea of promoting eco-friendly mobility among the population as one of the main factors in making our cities more enjoyable places to live and to work in. Uh, that was it. Thank you for your attention and to wish you all a successful and inspiring future mobility actions. Thank you very much, Miroslava. Uh, very interesting and also very uh, I find original um, to have a, a literature, literature um, competition for the uh, about mobility. Um, that's very, yeah, very original. So uh, well done Thank to you. you. Thank you. Um, no, no, we are going to the to the next um, to the next presentation, um, and we go from Bulgaria to Portugal, and uh, I will uh, now give the. Give the floor to Katya from the Oliva Olivaish uh, Parish Council in Portugal, and she will uh, tell more about her mobility action. So, uh, Katya, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you. Hello to all. Um, I'm trying to put the presentation now. Okay. So, um, first of all, thank you for the invitation. It is a pleasure to be here. Uh, the Olivais Parish uh, is um, situated in uh, Portugal, in the capital, Lisbon. It has um, around 300, um, uh, 33,000 inhabitants almost 10% of the area of the city of Lisbon. 
um, so uh, about uh, the week, uh, the mobility week, we have engaged uh, promoting activity mobility in the territory uh, for different kinds of people, all genders and ages. So uh, we, we say no limit to ride a bicycle. For seniors, we had uh, bicycles adapted. Um, we had a conference in the secondary school with 400 students attending the conference. Also, bike ride for kids from the seven elementary uh, public schools. Yes. Um, and also, we celebrated the, the slash hashtag EMW Cross with us, uh, with the, the students. Production was also on social network publishing uh, with all of these activities. About the, um, the activity that you have selected, um, I'll focus on that. So, Mobility Cafe on, on a Friday, uh, in the end of the day. Um, this was uh, in a partnership. We presented a guide, a cycle to work, that we made with volunteers and also with local NGOs that work together to give information about how to start cycling and some useful information on which bike to choose, how to park a bike, which better clothes to wear. Uh, besides that, we produced a web page uh, where you can see a lot of routes to go by bicycle uh, in the parish. Uh, either for leisure, uh, with families, and also uh, rides that we do it often uh, in the parish. So, uh, after that we had a debate on a secure walk and cycle. The main partner uh, is the Bicycle Tour Portugal Cooperative. We have uh, here uh, in the webinar one of them, Patricia Mello, which I thank for all the, the collaboration and how we implemented successfully this, um, this debate in the parish with a lot of attendance and also participation from the audience. So as you can see, we had 11 institutions involved, um, some local NGOs such as MUBI, uh, besides Basiculture, uh, the Lisbon municipality, including the police, uh, college, Faculty of Science and Technology, Free Road Association, the Public Security Police, but also the National Authority for Road Security. Security. And in the end, uh, we had also the partnership with BIRD, Electric Scooters Company, and Environmental Portuguese Agencies. So here, uh, sorry, what happened? So after the debate, uh, the people were also engaged for a night ride. It was really fun. Uh, we got to, to try the electrical scooters from birds, but also some special bicycles and urban bicycles. Uh, and it was fun for us. Also, the people that were outside in the street uh, took photos and videos and shared on the social media. So it was... Um, uh, the people enjoyed uh, seeing so many people in, in at night uh, riding the bicycles through the parish, and it was fun. The streets were ours. So uh, this was uh, what I had to present. So if you have any questions in the end, I feel feel free to ask them. Thank you. Thank you very much, Katya. Uh, it seems that you had a uh, good fun in uh, in Lisbon. So um, well done for for this mobility action. Uh, we are now going to the to the next uh, to the next presenter, and actually from the south of Europe, we are going to the north of Europe. Um, and I will now give the floor to Astrid from the province of uh, South Holland in the Netherlands, and she will um, she will present uh, her mobility action. So uh, Astrid, the floor is yours.
Hello. Oh, hi. It doesn't want to share yet. Hello to all. This is Astrid Holman from ROV South Holland, and we are a public entity promoting road safety. Each year we have, I will click this so you can see the promotion, the, the sheets. Can you see the see sheets? As, uh, yeah, you can see them now full screen. Um, each year we have our annual theme week. Um, and this year the European Mobility Week and its theme, uh, Safe Walking and Cycling, giving it an extra special edition um, and putting the emphasis on the target groups, pedestrians and cyclists. Uh, objective of our theme week is... Uh, uh, sorry, yes? we, we see only your first slide. You need to, to go to the next slide, I guess. Yes, I am trying, <laughs> but okay. my computer... Good won't go. Um, unfortunately, it yes, made made it work. <laughs> the yeah. objective, thank you very much for <laughs> making that clear to me. <laughs> um, the objective of our week is to give an impulse to our movement, the going for zero. Um, and um, we do this by um, because we want to raise awareness uh, towards road safety uh, for sustainable transportation um, with the knowledge that on Dutch roads only last year 678 people died and uh, in the province of South of Holland every day 15 people do not reach their destination uh, due to a traffic incident. So I'll try to switch to another. Yeah. Um, these numbers uh, motivate not only us, but also our partners, which historically are uh, mostly public entities, uh, but also NGOs, um, to take action and to take responsibility. Um, we recently started to, uh, to include also private partners and have targeted different private sectors to join us. And we're very proud to uh, be, um, be able to present also seven new organizations. Um, there was one, I may be missing a logo. Um, seven new partners in our theme week and that also joined in action and taking responsibility with us and promoting safe uh, walking, cycling and safe driving as well. Uh, what we do in our theme week is a large number of activities. As I said, it's our focal point of the year through uh, activities that we have. Uh, but in our theme week, we ask all our partners, current and new ones, uh, to take action. And that may be, as you see in the middle, um, just by applying logos to their uh, vehicles and making visible that they uh, value uh, the, the importance of going for zero uh, victims. Um, but uh, mostly actions targeted at uh, a broad group of uh, people from LDU to school um, and also employees, more, more importantly. Um, giving them courses in safe participation, uh, but also asking them for IDs and having checks on their bicycles and uh, cars to be safe uh, in driving and participating. But and also um, asking people to share their IDs on how we can make uh, road safety more important and uh, reduce the number of victims on our streets. A, a big part of our week is always um, school drop-off day. Um, this year we made school drop-off day, uh, school drop-off week. Um, and the week consists in an action that we ask parents to not bring their children by car, but um, in line with the theme uh, also bring them by foot uh, or bicycle and um, it was a big success because we saw uh, primary schools uh, that had a decrease of 90% um, going from 100 cars on average to 10 cars at the end, end of the, the week. So very good numbers and certainly something that we will repeat next year again. May I conclude in, in explaining the general idea behind the theme week um, that 
this is to um, have everybody joining forces and making it impossible to escape the message and the appeal to take responsibility in promoting road safety and sustainable transportation and uh, to go with everybody included towards the reduction of um, the victims to zero as soon as possible. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Astrid. Uh, very nice to see that uh, you are uh, very active on the on the front of um, safe mobility. Uh, also a very important uh, topic in the Mobility Week and uh, Mobility Actions. Um, and now we are going from uh, Holland or the Netherlands to Austria. And um, I will give the floor to Florian and uh, Georg. And they are working for um, a company with, a, I think, a interesting name, Smarter Than Car. So uh, now uh, I will give the floor to you, uh, Florian and Georg. Florian, we can you? We don't hear you. Yeah, I think now you, we can. I. No. Yeah, no, we can. Okay, now it works, now right? It works. Okay, great. Now we are on play, and you also see our our slides now. Hi, I'm yes, Florian. This is Gail. I'm um, we are actually not a company, but we are an NGO, um, and uh, I think we could only register as a company as far as I remember, but uh, maybe this change in the future. Um, so we we are here to present our uh, project called Parklet to Go Pedal Powered Placemaking, uh, and Smarter Than Car is a non-profit advocacy and uh, R&D group for future urban mobility and post-carbon urbanism. We do research, design, and communication across uh, various urban scales and contexts. Uh, basically, uh, we do this when, uh, next to our uh, main jobs, which are uh, we are urbanists, geographers, political scientists, ecologists, landscape architects, and architects. And we do the work at Smarter Than Car next to our sort of day jobs, next to our livelihood work. So you could call our engagement uh, something like a constant mobility action. Um, so um, we engage with Smarter Than Car in the public realm in our cities and currently this public realm uh, is typically dominated by privately owned and individually, individually used automobiles as many of us know. So you see here in this slide like this red painted area on top uh, is sort of uh, Dominant, dominated by the automobile and we ask ourselves uh, how could we use this space uh, in a different way and we also many of us know that this needs to change uh, we need to change uh, the way we use valuable public space uh, in cities we cannot use it anymore uh, for uh, as a parking space like in Vienna 30% of uh, a streetscape is typically used for for parking uh, for parking cars that are 95% of their lifetimes unused. So this needs to change uh, because we need to start to use our uh, streets as living spaces, as spaces where we can deal with climate adaptation uh, and, and just use them as, as sort of an outdoor living room in cities. But the question is, how can we as citizens engage in, in that change? You know, how, how if we are not a policymaker or uh, working for a city, how can we from from ourselves, you know, take the initiative and do something. Uh, so if we are in, too impatient with the change, how uh, can we do something? And that's where our project Parklet to Go comes in. Uh, the Parklet to Go is an urbanistic tool for testing, evaluating, discussing uh, the transformation of uh, specifically parking spaces in a city. Uh, and we, uh, it's a tool for doing this in an effective and informal way. So um, with the Parklet to go, you are able to, um, the idea is to, uh, to go out and uh, create a temporary installation, uh, a parklet uh, on parking lots in public spaces. So uh, doing placemaking in this sense, uh, as, as this new, uh, as this buzzword says. So uh, the Parklet to go is a pop-up parklet. Uh, it is a mobile furniture ensemble, you can say that consists of two benches uh, that fits each two to three uh, people, a table, uh, a flower bed to sort of mock, uh, mock up a small garden, 
uh, and also a resilient CD tree and, and some, some barriers, some light barriers. So you can easily go out and flexibly create a parklet uh, in, in public space in just a few steps. So in late 2018, we had this idea to develop this tool uh, uh, to be used in Vienna and we set out to build it ourselves. Um, we tried to find money and, uh, and submitted it for a local funding opportunity from the city of Vienna. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get the grant. Uh, so at first we were a bit disheartened, but then uh, we thought, well, we have to build it anyway and we will for sure find the money. Um, so we talked to a lot of people, actually Flo did a lot of the talking and Thanks to a private individual, Sergio, who I think is somewhere there in the webinar. Uh, we were able to uh, receive a generous donation to cover at least the material costs. Um, as all of you know, material is one thing. Uh, the other thing is actually the uh, budget for making and fabricating the thing. And, instead of uh, letting a professional uh, carpenter do the work i decided to do it because i'm a, little, a carpenter's son so to say uh, i decided to build it myself um, and therefore i i used the workshop of my father in tirol after building the parklet to go uh, we uh, used the beautiful scenery of tirol to do some photo shooting and some initial tests uh, for rideability and everything after that i had to uh, of course uh, had the challenge to bring the the parklet uh, from uh, tirol to vienna which is about 500 uh, kilometers uh, apart and because uh, to go to stay in line with the project, I decided to paddle it from from uh, Innsbruck to Vienna, which took me about a week and was 660 kilometers. So uh, end of August, the uh, parklet to go arrived in Vienna, and we were able to start our uh, our spontaneous actions, you can say, in the uh, in the city. And within Mobility Week, we we did uh, three applications uh, in total. So here you can see some some images uh, of uh, what we do typically with the parklet to go. We go out uh, to to invite some friends. We go where here on the right hand side you see a, a very high valuable parking space in Vienna that could also be transformed into a living space. Uh, and to demonstrate that potential, we go there and just uh, sit and invite people to 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 talk to us and to reimagine that that space so to say so with the parking to park it to go we can go out to parking spots to temporarily transform them for another purpose we can dock on to existing uh, infrastructure uh, at the ground floor level and to make that to extend it into the public realm and we can go out into uh, underused public spaces that are um, sort of such, such as large empty squares and, and use them for, for other purposes. So, um, yeah, we, we have sort of just scratched the surface of what we could do with the parklet to go. And uh, after building it and applying it in Mobility Week, we are looking forward to sort of continue our constant mobility action uh, in 2020 with, with this uh, tool. And it's warmer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hello? Thank you. Thank you very much, Florian and uh, Georg. Uh, actually, uh, you have uh, you showed great dedication uh, to the project by cycling all these kilometers from Innsbruck to to Vienna. So well done to to you and good luck for Thank for you. next year. Uh, and now we are coming to the to the last uh, to the last presentation, uh, last mobility action. So we are traveling to Spain and Alberto from Ad Andando Burgos uh, will pre will present. Hello, his mobility action. So I will give you the, the screen now. Albert. Hello. Hello. Good morning to everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, Hello? we can. Yeah. OK, perfect. Uh, thank you for the invitation to present uh, the mobility action of our association, Andando uh, Burgos. It's a pedestrian association working in the promotion of sustainable uh, sustainable mobility in our city, which is located in the north of Spain, it's a medium size uh, 
city uh, which uh, has uh, 180,000 180, inhabitants. And the idea behind our, uh, our, our action was to command a simple, uh, a simple wake up call to our politicians and civil engineers to transform the way they design our crosswalks and streets that uh, has a high, such a high influence in our daily life. Uh, with this in mind, uh, we choose uh, one uh, pedestrian crossing in the city center uh, located close to a huge, uh, big uh, pedestrian uh, area, and which is the natural entrance uh, for uh, locals and visitors uh, to to the core of the city, to the core of the city. Uh, the idea was to show the need for social and logical paths that avoid a narrow and dangerous waiting uh, in, in the crosswalks. And in that way, we will be able to get more comfortable waiting, waiting and increase the safety of the, the crosswalks. Uh, also, another point of this action was making, making to make walking more appealing for people. There was, uh, we hope uh, with this action that the local administration change the mindset and think start to think at first on pedestrian needs. Uh, and hopefully, we will see soon uh, a new design for these crosswalks as a um, powerful uh, symbol of uh, this new vision in the city council. Uh, okay, next, yeah, uh, for preparing this uh, action, we had internal meetings in our association from which we wrote down a draft that presented to the mobility office of our, of our city hall, uh, city council. Uh, after several meetings, we arranged the, the place, the date, and the things we need for the action. And, uh, and uh, we uh, hold our press conference uh, uh, at the city council, city hall, to present all the actions and the European Mobility Week. The mobility office also printed some flyers uh, for publicity. On the other hand, we prepared a large uh, poster to inform the, the citizens during the activity, and we count with the help of the police uh, to keep uh, all people safe. And the 21st of, uh, in the afternoon of 21st of September, we got there in the place. Uh, we joined forces with uh, our partners in the cycling, local cycling association, Burgos Convici, and we start extending uh, ropes in uh, going in and out of the road, extending uh, ro uh, white ropes to delimit uh, the new uh, uh, crossing walk. And we were doing this uh, during three hours uh, at the green lights for pe pedestrian. People enjoy it, uh, um, participate, and it was a success. We recorded the video. You can check it out in our uh, YouTube account where you can also find uh, another eight action we did, uh, small videos just to call the attention in the problems the pedestrian face every day regarding uh, the several points as uh, public transport, design of uh, sidewalks, uh, accidents, or the time slot in 
traffic lights. Uh, we have some impact on local media and we hope uh, we will help to change the, the mind of our uh, civil engineers and, and politicians. Um, what uh, that's that's all. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alberto. Uh, nice initiative also from your side. Uh, I think we had three very nice presentation. Um, now I would like to ask the audience if you have any question to ask to either myself and Bolash, but also if you have uh, questions for uh, Miloslava, Katia, Astrid, Florian and Georg, and also, of course, to Alberto. So if you have questions, uh, feel free to either uh, use the chat box uh, at the end of the, at the bottom of the, of the webinar tool, or you can also ask a question orally. Is there any question? So um, I have a first question between uh, from Patricia, who is asking, what is the relation between police network and the mobility action? Um, so to make it uh, simple, police is a, is a network of cities and regions. And together with other uh, networks of cities, uh, Eurocities and ICLE, we are um, managing the European Secretariat of the European Mobility Week. And uh, in this framework, we are, police is managing the mobility action um, scheme. So it means that every time a mobility action is submitted on the website, uh, Bolage and myself receive a notification and we have the uh, possibility to approve it, to reject it, and also to, to make some changes in case there are some typos or we can also get back to the person and, and, and ask for some modification or clarification. So that's our role in this uh, in this uh, context. I hope this is clear enough. Um, then I have uh, another question from Karen from Belgium. Uh, and she says, hi, we are the organizers of the European Mobility Week in Belgium in Flanders. And her question is, can we use these materials, uh, especially the pictures, as an inspiration for cities and organizations here in Belgium on our on our own website. Um, I think uh, for that specific question, we will get back to you individually, but uh, we can definitely put you in touch with the organizers of those uh, five mobility actions. And um, so far they have been very um, nice in, uh, in providing pictures and presentations. So I guess they will uh, also agree uh, with this for another um, uh, cooperation and give more uh, uh, inspiration to other uh, people. Then we have a, a question from Rose. Uh, she's asking about the recording of this webinar. Uh, yes, it is recorded and we'll make sure that you, you receive it so you can also uh, show it to people that could, uh, could not attend today. Another question from uh, Stefan um, about uh, the mobility action from Vienna. So that's a question for you, Florian and Georg. Um, did you meet some resistance from people who wanted to park their car in the parking spot where you put up your installation? And if yes, how did you deal with it? Uh, greetings from Montenegro. So Florian and Georg, maybe you have a, an answer to a question by Stefan. Uh, hi. Um, the, we actually we didn't we didn't really have any resistance as such. What I forgot to mention is we usually arrive by bike and then we invite the pedestrians to sort of <laughs> come and sit with us or people who who we uh, who come with us or or who who join there. Uh, but there was no resistance as such because um, typically when we put the parklet to go, uh, then it looks as if it's sort of legitimate because it's so well designed and it looks so nice that that sort of nobody questions if the uh, that the parking spot could be um, could be for for the car. What helps is the context that in Vienna there is a lot of other parklets that are sort of uh, legitimate and permanent, uh, and uh, and so the people don't question if there is one parklet somewhere that, that takes up one parking spot. Okay, good. Um, then we have uh, another couple of questions um, from Patricia again. Um, 
which is about the role of national coordinators in the European Mobility Week. So uh, you can see on the Mobility Week website that there, there are several levels of coordination, uh, including the national coordination. Uh, we have national coordinators in almost all the European countries. And uh, the role of those people are to oversee uh, the, the campaigns, the European Mobility Week campaigns at the local level. Um, so uh, the the role for the mobility action is less um, important, I would say. Um, they can of course um, have a, a look and uh, and they can also get back to us to to recommend some uh, good mobility actions. But you don't need to contact them in advance uh, if that's your question before submitting your mobility action. And then we have a, a question from Ines uh, from Portugal, who is asking, how can we turn the Open Mobi Mobility Week into an annual activity? Uh, so for this, uh, this is uh, very um, relevant as, uh, as a question. Um, the mobility action is made for, for that. So if you are either as a, as a public local authority or as another type of organization, uh, if you are doing things during the mobility week and you want and you would like to make it uh, more uh, longer and to have it to have them during the whole year, you can register them as mobility action. So that's one of the aim of the mobility action is to give the possibility to register actions that are taking place. Uh, not only during the mobility action, uh, the mobility week, but also uh, throughout the year. So you can uh, register them uh, as mobility action. And then we will take uh, the last um, last two questions, and then we'll need to to close the the webinar. Uh, a question from Cecil, who is Turkish, I guess. Um, it is not easy to contact uh, national coordinators. How can you? how can you support us for arranging a meeting next year? Um, I think uh, that we can get back to you uh, directly, uh, but uh, of course we, the European uh, coordination is also happy to put you in touch with your national coordinator. And the last question is from, ah, okay, it's from Greece. So we will uh, put you in touch with your, with your national coordinator in Greece. And uh, last question from Sergio, who is asking uh, if Parklet to go is available in Brussels um, or if they can come to Brussels. That's a long way to, to cycle. I don't know if you are ready for it, uh, Georg. If you have plans to export the um, model. Somewhere. I can uh, take a leaf uh, to travel to Brussels, actually. But I think it, it would probably be flat enough to do. But but okay. we are we are we have a, a sort of this. We see this as a first step and a proof of concept, and we are want to develop the idea further into some in a version that is more compact and also movable um, by by hand. So it would be more easily to go on the train or something to other places in Europe. It would be uh, a walklet. OK, good. Good to know. Um, so yeah, if you want more information, I, I would uh, invite you to, to get in touch directly with uh, Florian and Georg. Yeah. So um, now I would like to come back to the end of to come to the end of this uh, of this uh, webinar. But before that, I would like to mention something very important. Um, we will organize in the next uh, couple of weeks a social media competition. So the five mobility actions that were presented today, they will uh, they will be um, published on the social media of the European Mobility Week uh, on Facebook, Twitter, and most probably on Instagram too. Uh, and the idea of this um, of this competition is that the mobility action that gets that get the most uh, the the largest number of uh, of likes and uh, of uh, shares and uh, retweets uh, will uh, be um, elected the um, best uh, mobility action of the year. So uh, this uh, this mob the the organizer of this uh, mobility action will uh, will also be invited to a, a workshop uh, of the mobility week in Brussels uh, in spring uh, next year. 
So um, I invite you, all of you, all of the participants to uh, follow the Open Mobility Week on the social media. And from next week, you will see uh, the, um, the mobility action on uh, published every day. And you will have uh, two weeks to vote for the one you, you like best. Or of course, you can also vote for, for several of them if you like several of them or all of them. So uh, stay tuned and um, and I would like to, to thank you for attending the, the webinar, to thank our five presenters and my colleague Bolash for, for the nice presentations today. So thank you very much and have a good day. Goodbye. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.